Hey folks, hello and welcome to another Divi tutorial by the team here at Divi Engine. My name is Roby and today I'm going to be showing you how you can add two Divi button modules in line right next to each other in a column row. Don't forget that you can find other great tutorials and resources just like this one on both our channel and our blog which will be linked in the description of this video. So let's jump right into it. So let's jump in and take a quick look at what we're going to be building today. We've got this slider over here just to show us that we're in a single column, but we've got our two individual buttons here right next to each other in that same column. And this is what we're going to be working on today. So this is one of those quirky features that you expect Divi to have natively out of the box, but unfortunately it doesn't. But you'll see that with just a little bit of CSS code, we can very easily move stack buttons into a position where they're right next to each other. So to get started here, we're just going to go ahead and create a new post in our Divi install. So I'll just click on the add new button and then I'll just give it a name, Divi buttons. Oops. And I will activate my builder. And we are gonna be building from scratch here. So let's say build from scratch. And then we'll just select a single column row. Now just for posterity, I'll open up the visual builder. And then I'm just going to add a slider at the top to show that we can place the buttons next to each other without having to have two columns. And this will just kind of verify that. So we'll add the slider. We're not going to change anything there. And then right below the slider, what we'll do, we're going to add some buttons. So let's just go with this button and then we'll just call this one button one. We don't need to put a link right now. Um, and uh, just because we're not going to be making this functional and we'll, we'll just copy that button and then we'll edit it and call it button number two. And then we're just going to go ahead and publish that. And then we'll take a look at it on the front end really quick. And what we're going to see is our little slider here. And then we've got our two buttons here, but they are stacked. So we're going to take them and put them right next to each other in the next step where we're going to be adding some code. Okay, so to add the code, we're going to jump into the edit feature of that post again uh, that we just created. And what we need to do is we need to add a code module. So we'll add the code module. And what we're going to be doing is if we look at the blog post here, here you can see the preview of what we're doing. But if you go down, you can see the CSS we'll be using here. And it's literally basically one line of CSS. We're just going to copy that. And again, the blog post is linked in the description of this video. So um, if you're looking for that, you'll find it there. So we'll go back here. Now, the important deal here is if you use the code module, you want to make sure that you're putting CSS between style tags, as indicated here. And then we'll just paste that right in there. Now, if we go to the visual builder, We'll say, hey, wait a minute, I just put that code in, but my buttons are still chilling on top of each other. Well, let's take a look at the CSS code that we put in here. So we created a class here called de-inline-buttons, and then we're addressing the, the, the v, um, button module wrapper. Now we're putting display inline block here, and this is the actual code that goes ahead and puts the buttons next to each other. But the important thing is here, we're making sure that we have this class that we created. So this doesn't apply to all the buttons on the page because otherwise, you know, you're going to have other buttons that are doing funky things that you might not want to. So let's just copy that. And then what we need to do is we need to take that class. So we need to identify the row where we want these buttons to be placed next to each other. And if we go to the advanced tab and then you're to the CSS ID and classes, we paste that class in there immediately you see our buttons right next to each other. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's see what happens on the front end. So here we refresh this preview. And there we go. Our buttons are already next to each other and we have been busy for 10 seconds. Amazing stuff, guys. So. Now, it doesn't look great yet because we've got this spacing issue here and maybe you want the buttons in the middle. So let's address that in the next step here. Okay, so we want to refine the look of our buttons here um, so that they have a little bit more spacing, a little bit more breathing room between each other. So we're going to jump back here into the back end and then let's enable the visual builder. Oops, I went to mobile. Okay, 
So let's just go on these settings for the first button. And then it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go ahead to the design tab here, then go to spacing. And you are gonna wanna add maybe some margin on each side if you do 15, 15. And then you can either go ahead and you can extend the margin to all the buttons in this row. And then you'll see that it has added it to both there. Very easy. I mean, alternatively, you could have gone into the button design and spacing, but you see those settings extended to it. It's just one of those cool features of Divi that make it a little easier to um, quickly develop and extend some features. Now, the other thing that we might want is maybe we want these buttons to be in the middle here because it looks kind of odd being to, off to the side here. So the way that we do that, and the code is here on the blog post again, it's again, just one more line basically of CSS. We're gonna tell this DE inline cl buttons class that we created to put all the text in the center. So we'll copy that, super simple. We'll go back to our page here. And then we'll edit that code module. Now, if you have trouble finding it, sometimes I do. I just go ahead and enable the module view again. I go ahead, open this, and I'll just underneath that last curly brace, we'll paste this code, which is gonna center it. And then we say, okay, we look at the desktop and there our buttons are living right in the middle of our column, which is awesome stuff. So I'm gonna save that. And then let's check it out on the front end. Bam, thing of beauty, that was so easy. It was literally two lines of CSS. It's really odd that this is not a feature in Divi yet, but you know, as you can see, it's super easy to do yourself. So definitely, if this is something you need, check it out. And um, yeah, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for checking it out. And if you guys find content like this helpful, definitely comment and maybe even, you know, subscribe to the channel. You'll find some other cool stuff that we can do. We put out tutorials weekly and try to help you guys build the best Divi sites possible. So again, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you guys in the next video.